welcome back to my channel. So today I was actually super excited to just sit down and play with this stack load of makeup because it's been the longest time since I've been able to just have a play with makeup and do something really full glam. So for the last couple of days Mason's been homesick and we've literally just spent the last few days in our pajamas so it feels nice to get like a little bit glam and do a makeup tutorial for you guys. And I actually tried some new products in this video that I've not tried on my channel before and that I absolutely love. So I'm excited to share those with you guys. Just before we get into the video I actually just had my Botox redone by Dr. Banaka. If you guys remember at the start of the year I had my lips done, I had a brow lift from her, had my forehead done, I also had my frown done so I kind of just got a little bit of a touch up happening. Alright so I've just zoomed in a little bit so I can show you guys what it is that I've had done to my face. So I had my crow's feet done so I like these little lines here are currently gone and they're probably the lines that drive me the most insane on my face. I also had my forehead done so I can't lift my brows. <laughs> It's great, like I have not much movement in my forehead, but I'm liking it that way because I find my makeup just sits so much more like smooth on my forehead. I also had a brow lift done, so normally my brows sit really straight across on my forehead, but you guys can see they have like a little bit of lift and a bit of an arch happening, so that's thanks to my brow lift. I also actually had Botox injected here to give myself a little bit of a lip flip, and it's probably like the best thing that Dr. Vanaka ever suggested because it makes my lips just sit so much more like pouty and pretty. And I'm really enjoying it. And then I also have these lines here injected which are called like bunny lines or something. Um, so I had them injected just so that they don't look as intense. She's probably the most honest injector that I've ever had and she did say that she spends a lot of her time actually talking people out of treatment. So if any of you guys want to go and see my beautiful injector I will link all of her details in the description box down below. I don't know if you guys can see how like glowy my chest is looking at the moment but I actually picked up this spray the other day from Sports Girl. It was on sale for like five dollars or something like that and it looks so pretty. I've sprayed it on my chest and I think it's like so glowy. I actually picked up a sample of the MAC strobe cream the other day and I'm loving it. I find it's a really pretty base for my makeup because I don't like to look too matte. So I'm going to start by applying some of this onto my face. I find this just makes your makeup look so like dewy and pretty and glowy and just like everything I want basically. So I'm 100% going to be going out to purchase this product this week. I'm going to start out by priming my eyelids. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I actually stopped using this for ages and then I just picked it up the other day and I was like, now I remember how amazing this is. Um, the other day I tinted my eyelashes and it was like an interesting experience. It hurt like a little bit. It was kind of stinging my eyes. But I think I did a pretty good job considering I had to have my eyes shut and I couldn't really see what I was doing. But it's made a massive difference. I'm getting eyelash extensions next week and I just wanted them to like not look blonde because last time when I had them I found it was really noticeable like where my lashes were and where the false lashes were. So the palette that I'm going to be using today is the Stacey Marie Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival Palette. I feel like I need a breath after like just announcing that to you guys. And these colours here are just beautiful. So I've actually been using this quite a little bit. I haven't played around too much with the colours but from what I've used so far like I really really enjoy this palette. The first shade that I'm going to go into is this one here called Naked so I'm just going to kind of gently pat this on my eyelid just to set that concealer. So the first shade that I'm going to go in with is this shade here called Basic and I'm taking that on my Morphe M441 brush. So I'm just going to kind of tap in and then pat off any excess and then just start by doing circular motions in my outer corner. So I'm going to start patting the product on and then sort of just doing circular motions to blend out the edges so that it's looking as seamless as possible. I might even zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. So I'm going to take small amounts of shadow at a time and just slowly build the colour up rather than packing too much on. So I sort of want to have this colour blending to about halfway on my lid. So the next shadow that I'm going to go in with is this one here called Rowdy. So it's just like a nice dark warm brown tone. I'm going to be taking this one this time on my Morphe M433 brush. So making sure to tap off any excess product. And then once again just sort of blending that over the other colour. But I don't want to go all the way to the edges. So I sort of want it to be like a nice blended out gradient sort of a look. So I'm just going to be working that mainly in this corner area here. And just really building that colour up on the outside of my lid. If you guys want to see a tutorial on like a super 
colorful look then let me know because I'd honestly love to film something bright and different to anything else that's on my channel. As I'm going I'm cleaning my brush constantly as well so I actually picked this up from Sports Girl the other day. I'm pretty sure I ended up scanning it like two dollars which is amazing and it smells so good it's got like a really pretty vanilla scent and it cleans your brushes amazing so I'm just kind of spraying this into a paper towel as I go and giving the brushes a little clean. Now unfortunately the Be Perfect palette doesn't have a black so I'm just going to go into my Too Faced chocolate bar palette dip into the black so i'm just going to dip into the black with my 231 luxe petite crease brush crease brush crease brush from zoeva and just put that really lightly in the outer corner so now i'm just going to dip in and just kind of pat the black on because i want it to be quite intense in the outer corner next i'm just going to grab my zoeva 227 luxe off definer brush and then just really gently brush over those edges the next product I'm going to go in with is my favourite product ever, which is the Vanity Mineral Colour Crystals in the shade White Satin. I'm just going to sort of smooth out the edges a little bit. So I'm just going to go in with the white shade just under my brow bone. While I've still got that sticky tape on my eyes, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Tattooed Liner. This is in the shade Trooper. Time to take off the tape. So I'm just going to go in and clean up under my eyes now using a little bit of Marcella water. So I'm just going to apply some of my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I just finished applying my false lashes and today I used the Glam by Manicare Luxe 59 Harper Lashes. Now these ones are not my favourite ones. My favourite ones are the Sienna ones from the same range. But they didn't have any the other day so I picked these ones up instead. So onto foundation. The foundation that I'm going to try today is actually a sample that I picked up from Mecca. I've got a bunch of shades here. I've got a feeling I'm just going to be the light beige one today. But I kind of want to be a bit browner so I might mix in a little bit of the shade Warm Sand. So I'm just going to use my 102 Silk Finish Brush by Zoeva and just kind of buff that into my skin this does smell really nice oh that smell is so good i wonder if it'll blend better with a beauty blender i feel like it's not super full coverage like i can still see my freckles coming through i'll probably do like another thin layer once i've applied this one I'm just going to add another layer just to sort of make it a little bit thicker. I feel like it's not really the most full coverage makeup and I'm a very full coverage girl. I can't decide if I like it just yet or if I don't. So we'll see how like everything blends out on top of it I guess. So I am really enjoying the smell of the foundation. I've never had a foundation smell so like sweet and peachy. It smells really good. So I'm going to conceal a little bit on my face and I'm going to mix two shades together because one's too light, one's too dark. So I've got the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C11. And then I've got the Light Pale Maybelline Instant Age Rewinds. And then I'll just add a little bit of this one. Sort of over the edges. I'm actually liking how that makeup's starting to dry down now. I think it's looking quite nice. So just before the under eye area has a chance to crease, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my nude Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder and just going to pat that under my eyes just so that there's no creasing. So far I'm actually really liking how the foundation has dried down. I might have applied a little bit too much and I probably should have just let it kind of dry down to begin with, I'm just going to really quickly fill my brows in off camera and I'm just going to use the dip brow in the shade chocolate. Alright, so I just really quickly filled in my brows off camera. I did like the quickest job. I might just start bronzing my face up a little bit now. So I'm just going to use my Hula by Benefit and I'm just going to take that on my Zoeva 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. Now I haven't set the foundation because I sort of want it to be left looking a little bit wet and dewy. Hold this hair out of the way. So I'm just going to kind of like bronze up my temple area and then bring that up 
in little circular motions onto my forehead and then I'm just gonna take some of that on my jawline as well so I don't know if you guys remember on my channel a while ago it was probably when I sort of first got into YouTube I did a vlog of that singles party that I went to for the radio station that happened on the Gold Coast I'm actually going to the next one they called my name out on the radio a couple of days ago and I called up and I claimed my tickets so I'm going to the next singles party and I'm super excited because the last time I had so much fun like I didn't meet anyone that was like potentially someone I would date but I just had like the best time it was so much fun so I don't know whether I should vlog it or just kind of like enjoy my time there all right so next I'm gonna go in with my favorite bronzer this one just makes me look like a way more glowy and bronzy so this is the matte give me sun you guys see that I use this like all the time anyway um so yeah with that singles party do you guys think that I should vlog it like would you be interested in seeing all right so I'm just gonna add a little bit of blush to the apples of my cheeks I'm just gonna line my waterline now using my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade 01 Black Fever. I want to really smoke out underneath my eyes. So first I'm gonna go in with the black shade from the Too Faced palette. I'm taking that on my Morphe M508 brush, making sure to tap off any excess because otherwise it falls down under here and it just looks really horrible. I'm gonna get that as close as I can to my lash line. So I'm basically just going to be using the same shades that I used on the top of my eyes. So I'm going to go in with the shade Rowdy from the Be Perfect palette, making sure to tap off any excess once again. And I'm just going to blend that out just underneath that black to sort of smoke it out a little bit. Look how like different that looks on each eye just by doing a little bit underneath. All right, so now I'm going to go back in with the shade Basic, which is the lighter shade and just go underneath that brown color and now i'm just going to go in and add some mascara on my bottom lashes just going to use the same Too faced better than sex mascara so i just want to add a little bit of highlight to my inner corner so i'm going to take this highlight shade here from the be perfect palette which is called saint so i'm going to add a little bit under my brow bone as well i'm going to bring a little bit of that shade up onto my lid as well now it's time for like the favorite part of my makeup which is my highlight so i actually purchased this palette the other day and it's literally my favorite thing in the whole makeup world so this is the ofra feeling myself highlight palette and it just has three shades in it which are all probably the most popular ofra shades that they have so today i'm going to mix rodeo drive and pillow talk the one in the middle you literally have to use the tiniest bit of these because they're so blinding like I literally just used the smallest amount just then. So I'm going to bring that up onto like my temple area as well. Just kind of what's left on the brush. Look how pretty that is. So I'm going to dust a little bit of it on the tip of my nose. And then kind of like in that little bit between my eyebrows. I'm going to add just a little bit above my brows to add a little bit of shine there. Finally time for the lips. So first I'm going to go in with my MAC lip liner in the shade Whirl. Just to make my lipstick last a little bit longer, I'm going to fill my lips in with the same lip liner as well. So the lipstick shade that I'm going to go in with is also from MAC and I'm just going to wear the one in the shade Honey Love. And then once that's applied, I'm just going to kind of go back over the edges with the lip liner to just sort of blend it all in. So my makeup's pretty much finished and now I just want to spray my face with a little bit of the Sports Girl Illuminating Spray. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, like always, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys all in my next video.